Morning guys, welcome back to New Zealand. This is a scene that I've passed a lot of times on my journeys, on my travels. You, you, you kind of hit it every time. It's, it's on, this scene is just off State Highway 1 and it's, it's basically something I've, I've looked at, I've photographed a few times and I've never really come up with a shot that I'm really happy with. Uh, there's so much potential here. Uh, every time I pass, I think, yes, this time. So this time, I'm passing. So I pulled in. Got up the stupid o'clock, 4am, to travel an hour down to this spot. And the sky's looking okay. It's quite moody, a lot of cloud moving about. What the scene needs desperately is some light. Uh, we've got a sliver of light on the horizon there. So when the, when the sun does come up, I'm hoping it catches. Fingers crossed. This place is called, the area is called Atiamori. And the, the mountain itself that we're photographing is called Mount Pohataroa. Pohataroa. Mount Pohataroa. It's basically the plug of an extinct ancient volcano. It's pretty good, eh? All right, guys, so listen, uh, I'm just setting up, and to be honest with you, desperately, desperately need that light. Sunrise is just coming up, and as you can see, there's not a lot of colour in the sky. So we just need, we need a couple of rays of sunlight to break through the cloud and hit that, hit that mount. So this is not going to work at the minute. We've got a lot of cloud on the horizon out to the east and that's going to stop any sunlight, morning sunlight, hitting, hitting the slopes which is kind of, ah, it's one of them things. This, this mountain, this volcano, this, this lump of rock, it's plaguing me because I've been here 15 years in New Zealand and every time I've passed this, I've thought, yes, today's the day. And unfortunately, I've never had the right conditions yet. And it's around about an hour, oh, maybe two hours drive away from where, I actually, where I'm actually based, down in Hawke's Bay. So when I do come up here, I always think, this, this time, but at the minute, again, maybe, maybe it's, it's just not gonna happen. I think, I think what I might do, what I will do, I've got a bit of time, I can hang about, there's no great bush to get back. So what I think I'll do, I'll, uh, I'll switch my idea to get some black and white stuff. Unless we get some sunlight. Black and white stuff, I'll put a 10 stop ND filter on. 0.9 soft grad, just to bring the sky down a little bit. Uh, because we've got quite a lot of cloud, we should be able to get some movement, some soft movement, across the scene. At the minute I'm getting around about 25 to 30 seconds, which is giving just a nice little bit of movement across the sky. Uh, and that's, that's it for now. I think the best thing I can do at this point in time, get back in little Rosie there and uh, get myself a coffee and then keep an eye on this light. All right, coffee time. Obviously I'm not getting the light that I wanted. 
But in fairness, I'm going to make a couple of nice photographs. Not ideal, not not will beaters, but I'm going to get some nice photographs. But photography for me, it's not it's not all about the ending result. It's not all about the photograph itself. It's about getting out, being here, doing it. Natural surroundings, fresh air, sound of the birds. It's just beautiful. I just love it. If I get a couple of nice photographs along the way, fantastic. I used to be the same when I used to go fishing. I used to go, I used to do a lot of fishing when I was a young fella. My dad used to take us a lot. And then as I grew, old, grew older, I used to go with the mates. I used to fish for carp. We'd spend hours and hours, days actually, on some occasions. We'd spend days at the riverside or the lakeside, waiting, hoping for a fish. Invariably, we caught nothing. But I'll tell you what, we had some good times. Good laughs, out in the environment. Just loved it. Just being out in nature. Just lifts the soul. Does something for your mind. Really, yeah, I love it. Anyway, I'm not a deep thinker, quite obviously. So I think I better shut up now. Just maybe we're going to get a little bit of light. There's a there's a crack in the clouds, and I think we might get lucky. A couple of minutes ago, I just got a, I had to rush out of the van, grab a quick shot because there's just a, a small small patch of mist rolling across the eastern face of the mount, and I think that made quite a nice shot. Long exposure, so there'll be a little bit of move, there'll be quite a bit of movement in it. I think it's going to look quite nice that one. But the one I'm hoping for is the one that might come out soon. There's there's quite a few breaks in the cloud now. I think I don't think we're going to get lucky. I know we're going to get lucky. It's not going to be the first golden sunlight of the day, but it's going to be nice. It's going to be really really nice. All right, guys, I think I'm going to call that a draw for now. There's quite a large bank of cloud rolled in. Just not going to give any more light onto that they're seeing behind me. Now, I did... I've, I've been here a good couple of hours now, and I've got three shots that I'm reason, reasonably happy with. The shot when there was no light whatsoever, that's going to make a quite a nice black and white moody shot. I've got a shot of the of a bank of mist rolling over the eastern face of the mountain. That looks quite nice. And then I got a third shot, my main shot, which I, I managed to get a slither of light. Not much, but a slither of light, and it just puts a bit of a highlight on the eastern slopes. So I'm, I'm quite reasonably happy with that. So in the meantime, I've had a coffee, I've had a wander around, I've flown my drone, and I'm quite okay. Pretty tired, but that's just par for the course.
So what that plan is now, if I go across the way there, there is something called the Atiyamori Dam. And it's all part of the Atiyamori power station network. Uh, and apparently, you can park down there for a couple of nights sleep in the van. I've never been down that way, so I'm gonna, it's only across the road, 10 minutes away, five minutes away actually. Uh, so I'm gonna spin the van round, go have a look, and uh, you never know, I might get a view of this old uh, rock that I've never seen before. Who knows? If nothing else, it's worth an explore. So uh, let's just go check it out, guys, see what, uh, see what we get. So this is the Atiyamori Dam. I have never been here before. Just across the dam wall there, that is the that is the main highway. And I've never been across this side. So this is a hell of a find for me personally. What a stunning spot. And in this little area here, you're allowed to park two nights, freedom camping in the van, self-contained. Stunning. Imagine waking up to that first thing in the morning. Photographically wise, it's beautiful. The downside, you've got those sort of whatever they are, flotation devices on top of the on top of the dam water there. Not entirely sure what they're for. They could be a bit of a distraction. I'm gonna try and find an angle where where I can avoid that. Although I'm loving this, I'm absolutely loving it. The one thing I can't get past is those orange flotation devices. There's bugger all I can do about that. Apart from, I might convert this to black and white. Convert it to black and white. Oh, big fish. That looked and sounded like a big fish. Itching to get my fly rod out. So yeah, so we'll have a look at converting this to black and white. Might be okay, I don't know. Then again, the colour might be okay. It is what it is. I mean, what can you do? But it's beautiful. It's a great spot. One that I'll use again when I'm up this way, without a shadow of a doubt. All right, guys, listen. I think unless anything else dramatic happens, we'll sign off here, guys. We'll call it a video. Uh, thanks for checking it out. Give us all a thumbs up, like, subscribe, all that sort of stuff. Uh, unless you think it's crap. And then, obviously, move on to the next. Cheers, guys. Kakitiano. Which means... Have a great day in Maui.